Here's my monster performance capacitor. Screw broke off on the inside. The extractor broke off inside of that when I tried to get it out. So let's see what's inside of this. So I started by just taking the top of it off here, just cutting that and you can see where the connectors go down into this. And so we'll cut it around closer to the middle. Um, but as you can see, that does not go all the way to the top because I felt like it was heavier towards the bottom. I thought I'd start here. And let's see what's inside towards the middle. All right, so I've got it cut in half on the outside at least and whatever type of insulation material that they're using on the inside. Pull it out and there's your capacitor. So you can see when it pulls out from the other side, there's all the layers. I have no idea how these work. This looks kind of weird to me. And this is what's inside. Looks like there's some sort of an insulating material there, that black stuff. Not too hard to cut through. It's pretty heavy. I'll see if I can get that out completely. So that's it. That's what's inside of the capacitor. Um, looks like this is kind of a foil-like material. Um, some kind of wet papery stuff. Uh, tears pretty easily there. And then out of that, at certain points along the windings, um, you've got these foil pieces which connect to your terminals up on top So each one of those had a bunch of those going to it and then on the inside of it You've got this insulating material And that's that what's inside of a monster cable car audio one farad capacitor